What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Super Mario Bros. 2. This will actually be the grand finale, believe it or not, because we're going to do both. We only have five more levels, so let's just make this a grand finale of it all. Anyway, we're going to use uh, Toad. Might be one of the last times we're using Toad, unfortunately, but I wanted to save Toad for this level because it's another one of those digging levels, let's just say. Now, believe it or not, um, yeah. I've already said this earlier, but Toad is a very broken character, but let's just say, um... Because if you hold an enemy and run, he can run significantly faster. Because it's kind of a little weird little, like, programming quirk. But speedrunners you sort of, like, speedrunners can completely break Mario 2 much like they can a lot of games, let's just say. Get where the, uh, I actually, uh, have to, uh... I have to place it over here to get the mushroom. Might as well get more chance at labs. Let's just t do, go all in. But um, the, I, I'm actually pretty good at remembering this. It's uh, this one, not this one right here. It's this one right here. It's the one next to the uh, it's the one next to the second um, I forget what those enemies are called off the top of my head, but it's the second one out of those snake things. Um, not the second snake thing, let's just say, but this is another Phantom level. It's another digging stage. Another reason I chose to use Toad in this level. I guess this is a grand finale because we'll do both worlds six and seven. Off screen and go for the door. And this is a green birdo. Like once in, once you're in world six and seven, you're just gonna keep just green birdos. All right, I took a hit, but uh, that shouldn't matter. Dead. You can flat out speed through levels with Toad, let's just say. One cherry. Only just one cherry. 212 lives. Two hundred and seventeen lives. Two hundred and twenty-two lives. 223 lives. Now, um, here's what I'm gonna do for the remaining three levels. Um, I'm gonna use Luigi for this level, let's just say. And I'm gonna go back to Toad because I wanna end this level with Mar- I wanna end this place with Mario, let's just say. So we're gonna use Luigi this level. He'll get, he's easy for 6-2, let's just say, because it's a platforming level. You have to go off across these albatrosses, but let's just say, uh, I think their wing speed is also, their wing movement is also different in Doki Doki Panic. Um, this game definitely, I, those who watch my stream Doki Doki Panic, like, Though, no, they did improve a lot of this from uh, Doki Doki Panic, let's just say. I wouldn't consider Doki Doki Panic a bad game, let's just say. I'd consider it more like a been there, done that in terms of beating that. Why did I jump into that? I thought there was going to be... Never mind. Yeah, Doki Doki Panic is very much a been there, done that in terms of like beating game. Say, because I am not interested in being that one a second. Because one of the biggest differences in that one, you have to that one you have to beat the game with all four characters to get the good ending. So it's very much a beat it once, not interested in being it again. For shit. Sometimes there can be bees. That, you have to wait on these albatrosses, but this stage is easy if you're Luigi. But the problem is, we end the stage with a green Birdo fight. And Luigi's not an ideal character to fight Birdos with, let's just say. I think Luigi might be my least favorite character to fight Birdos with, let's just say. Like that. But if you can time it right, kind of kill. You can kind of. Wow! I was wondering when our first death would be, but uh, 
Yeah, Dragon Ball Fighter Six. We haven't died once except for Six Two. That's an that's an accomplishment. I don't know. Most Mario games, aside from Japanese Mario Two, I can beat without his dying a single time, except for like the la the later levels. There we go. One, this is gonna be probably one of our last chance at lives and cherry and du no double cherry. And then we're gonna use Peach for this next level and um, we're gonna use Mario, we're gonna start this playthrough as Mario and end this playthrough as Mario. Now, there is a shortcut right here, but I wanna see if I can do the stage the normal way, let's just say. No, I forget what this mushroom is, not there. It was his first mushroom man, so, but however, if you go on down ladders and climb back up, those things will respawn. So we'll just keep mushroom at least. I think it's over here. There it is. It's actually, rare, again, it's rarely seen to do with the, the level this way. Most people just take the shortcut. stage is really too hard even without the shortcut though there's just a lot of bob bombs Shit. I don't think I don't think this stage is that bad if you do it the normal way it's just it just takes longer let's just say I think there's another mushroom, but I think I can beat tri with just three hits. Oh, I completely forgot about this section. I think like, um, this is like the just normal end of the stage, but uh, yeah, you can take a massive shortcut at the beginning of the stage. I just don't wanna show many of the shortcuts cause like, I don't know, it's like non-shortcuts in Mario 2 are pretty much rarely seen on YouTube, let's just say. Mario 2 is an oversaturated game, but like, let's just say, like, the shortcuts, the non-shortcuts, not so much. I have not done this, the stage this way in a while, though, let's just say. Green Snippet. I think the green snippets, they just don't move. I don't know, what the... Very weird to see a green step back. I mean, again, it's been a, it's been a, I am trying to think of the last time I, I did, I did the stage this way. It was probably a long time ago. Cause like most people, I, I normally just take the shortcut. Oh yeah. Oh no, 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 no. All right. Oh. I'm, again, like the NES controller I'm using has a little bit of a, a little bit of a, Kind of like tight D pad. There's a, it's kind of like a loose D pad. So yeah, I, I gotta get a better any. I have a better NES controller, but I don't know. Cause uh, even though I'm playing this on an original NES hardware, I'm playing this on my retro USB AVS, which is what I use to record NES era games. Like I have an NES, but like my biggest problem with the NES is that it only goes up to composite unless you get it modded, and not only that, like it's only mono sound. Probably because it's a very old console, but like, um, like the Super Nintendo can very much do, uh, S video, RGB, but NES, you have to get that modded, do that stuff. The only modded console I have is an RGB modded N64, because N64 is another console you can't do RGB in, but, uh, Super Nintendo, you can do RGB, no problem. But I try to make these gameplay videos as high quality as possible. Again, create the shield with Triclide. You'll have an easier time. Need to get our way up. I'd say Peach has higher jumper than Toad at least. Average jumper, but she floats. More hit with Triclide.
Anyway, there's two more levels. Now, we're gonna use Toad for this 7-1. Uh, we're gonna use Mario in 7-2. So basically, each character will have been used an equal amount of time. That's what I aimed for with this playthrough. I think mo most times I just use Toad all the way, but um, I wanted each character to get a chance in the limelight, let's just say. I want to take, I want to use four hit points because the right, believe it or not, this stage can be pretty annoying, let's just say. It's not that bad if you choose like Luigi, but to be fair, no stage is that bad if you choose Luigi. And this is going to be our last chance to get lives. <laughs> I don't think we're going to hit the live cap though. It's like maybe like 250, I think is the live cap. Ride this albatross all the way to, um... Ride this albatross all the way to the, uh, what am I trying to say? The, uh, ladder. If you choose Luigi in this level, you can just go straight, jump straight up to the albatross and just skip this whole portion. But, um, we're not, we've already used Luigi the max times I want to, let's just say. Oh yeah. Make that sniffer go to draw distance. Now, um, the problem with this area is the pink shy guy that shows up. I don't think it's showing up, so we can just go straight and, um, Heart might have been too risky to grab, but I grabbed it anyway. <laughs> oh shit. And this is the most annoying area in the stage, let's just say, but with four heads, we'll have this, uh, we'll do the plum. Shit. shit. Yeah, think how we have all those hits. That. You kind of you want to use a, a crouch jump when you have a, a shitty jumper like Toad. Anyway, so this is the last of the green Birdo fights. There's gonna be a red Birdo fight in uh, seven two, but uh, it's not the final boss. Here's our last chance of life. I like how that bird responds, by the way. Wow, that's uh, not very good. Am I gonna, not gonna get any cherries? Is it you've been recording for over an hour? The skill kind of diminishes. Look at all that. Look at all those lives. It says moo in terms of lives. That shows how many lives we got. M5. Seven. That's a lot of lives, let's just say. Mario, because if we're starting this playthrough with Mario, we're ending this playthrough with Mario. There we go. Yes, this sparked me a little annoying, let's just say. This is a long stage, let's just say. I'm gonna show both paths also. Like, um, if you take the right path, it's quicker, but if you take the down path, it's longer. I'm gonna show both paths. Because I try to make these runs as shin like Boy, the Panthers. Yeah, like, um, if you take the, uh, right path, it's quicker, but if you take the down path, you can get more hits. Uh, 
that out of the way. There we go. There we go. Dead. Oh no. Okay, use the post invincibility. That's second death. But uh, yeah, I want to say um. Shit. Okay, what's in this door? Oh, this, this is where it is. No, okay. This is where the the hearts are. But yeah, we want, we're, we're gonna try to see if we can get four hits. Jet, wow, we are, we immediately took a hit, but uh. Yeah, if you, you go up here and uh, it takes you all the way um infinitely upward. We're dying a lot in uh, 7 2, let's just say. I'm not used to taking this path, also. I normally just go the right path. Okay, I know the pattern now. Just gotta go all the way up, and it basically takes us to where we would have gone with the right path. Yeah, if you take the right path, you don't, you'll miss out on a hit, an extra hit point late, though. All right, we got a. All right, there we go. There we go. No, okay. Conveyor belts and Sparkies. Sparkies are also enemies that end up in future Mario games, so. And this is the last portion. Now we're in the, uh, we do have to, we still have to fight a red bird. Uh, we don't have to fight this red bird, actually. We just damage boost our way through the red bird, uh, so yeah. Oh, I forgot, you have to, um, you have to go all the way up, so yeah. I'm not used to taking that path, but uh, yeah, if you want four hits, you have to go, you have to backtrack the stage, which, um... I'd have more hits if I didn't damage just that red birdo, though. Alright, get the heart. Red bird doesn't respawn. Be careful, though, because if you die here, um... Let's just say the red bird, you'll have to fight the red birdo again, but uh, yeah, we're making progress. Believe it or not, this is the second to last fight in the game. This is with the hawk that's been guiding us through the game. You do have to fight it. It's not a hard boss, you just hit it three times. And welcome to the real final boss. This is Wart. Wart takes six hits to kill, so um, and your goal is to throw vegetables in his mouth, so he chokes on them. And basically, um, believe it or not, there is a trick you can do where you can go to the back of Wart and just, believe it, throw the vegetables and get a cheap hit, but it works better if you're Luigi or Princess. It's harder if you're Mario or Toad, let's just say. So we're just gonna fight Wart the normal way. We already have two hits on him, at least. That's three hits. Be careful though, because uh, you want to hit. You want to aim low. That way, it kind of guarantees a hit. Go hit him right when he opens his mouth. So that's four hits, and two hits, more hits, and he's down. All right, that's five hits. One more hit, and he's down. Oh shit! Yeah, sometimes it can throw you off like that. That was me throwing it too early. But there we go, that's game. Bye bye, Wart. Alrighty, so let's watch the ending. Moyer basically picks up the uh, thing and it frees the Bezos.
or the people of Subcon, because that's actually the place it takes the area this game takes place, Subcon. And everyone got an equal shot of the limelight. That's what I aimed for this playthrough. Like the contributor is basically the person you use the most times, so we've used everyone an equal amount of times. I'm letting us use Toad for all 20 stages. And get ready for the biggest plot twist in NES history. At least the biggest plot twist in the NES at least. It was all a dream. That's common knowledge at this point. I'm not like being epic with all that, but Mario 2 was all a dream. So yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. I've done a lot of content on Mario 2, so I thought I'd long overdue to play through this game properly. I enjoy Mario 2. I'm a dumb, I defend, I'm a wicked Mario 2 defender, let's just say. I think I might even like Mario 2 more than I like Mario 1, to be honest, but um, yeah, there's the cast. There's Mario and there's uh, Luigi. Princess, because back then he was called Princess Toad. So, well, in Japan, she was Princess Peach, but there's Toad, there's Shy Eye. It. E, which some Mario games, I think, also have ninjas in them. There's Pizos. There's Porcupos. Those were in World 4. There's Tweeters, which those are in some worlds, like World 3. Those are Bob Oms. Poop Stars, that are the uh, things that go up and down. There's Trouters. Which are the things that are on the carpets? There's the Panzers and there's the uh, Flurries, all both pretty annoying enemies. There's the Albatross or Albatoss. There's Fanto. There's Spark. There's Subcon. There's Pokey. Again, there's oh, look at this. There's Birdo and then there's Ashro. You might think this is a uh, correction error, but believe it or not. In the American Manual of Mario 2, there's still the Birdo and Ostro, so... I don't know, it's either a mistake or Birdo was called Ostro in Mario 2. I do not know, but there's probably the Clog, Clog Lip, Triclide. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of p p spelling errors in this game, let's just say. And then, there's Wart. And it's gonna write out in cursive, the end. Oh yeah, that was Super Mario Brothers 2. So I'll see you guys when I play through something else. See you guys.